evening. Plum here, playing World Tanks. In fact, I'm not playing. I'm uh, I'm watching. Haven't watched this replay. It was sent to me at the end of last year. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get around to uh, actually making a video of it. Um, this has been sent in by Mr. Akul, if I'm saying that correctly. And uh, he is in his VK Tier 8 Heavy Tank. The one that's not a Tiger 2. <laughs> I think that's the one we all know it as. A German Tier 8 Heavy that's not a Tiger 2. Uh, the VK45.02A. We all get Tiger 2s just because it's easier to say it, I think. And um, like I say, I haven't watched the replay. I've only looked at the um, results screen and it's pretty epic. So I'm going to watch this of interest right now. I've cracked open a uh, little bottle of beer. So uh, cheers. I was hoping that was going to clink against the mic, but it didn't. <laughs> it just sounded like a fud. Yeah, it is a glass bottle. Um, this is going to entertain me, hopefully, for the next, uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. Five minutes? Eight minutes. I'll put my money on eight minutes. This will finish at about seven minutes left on the clock. That's what I'll say. So, it's encounter. The enemy team has already gone into the uh, cap. Mr. Carl's moved over here to the northwest, along with a whole cluster of uh, allies. And he's shooting. He's shooting at... What's he shooting at? He seems convinced that there's something over there. And seeing the scores at the end of this, maybe he's right. Maybe there is something over there. Now he is in the platoon. T-3485 pushing up, IS-3 spotted. He's in the platoon with uh, Capre or Separe. I'm not sure how you pronounce that either. You guys. <laughs> and we are still rocking this ridge and waiting for something to occur that gives us hope and joy and... Come on, let's start doing some damage. It's got to start happening soon because I know how much he ultimately gets and it's it's a lot. T29, T34... We've lost two tanks, they've only lost one tank. Got eyes on. Yeah, surely, 325. The uh, average for this gun. Well, that was a good roll, I suppose. Above average, 320. He's got the 105mm gun and um, 200 penetration. So he's angled just right for the IS 3. The pike nose on the IS 3, when they sit at an angle to uh, a target, He's angling his armour so it's flat rather than actually uh, effectively using the pike. So you could argue that IS-3 driver is doing it wrong angled like that. He's just presenting a nice flat surface to shoot at. So we're already up to uh, 1375 damage done. No kills yet. That was unfortunate. Should have probably pointed the nose of that slightly more towards the uh, pike nose, and it might have penetrated rather than going for the side of the chassis. Says me. <laughs> don't listen to me. I, don't <laughs> I know some stuff, but I don't know everything. It's easier to say it afterwards, that's for sure. So they still have a one tank advantage on us. He's been spotted, taken a bounce from a Hellcat. T29's another bounce. Now Hellcat's been spotted. Is Hellcat going to stay there? Good old German accuracy. Rheimatal shows up. Now that's not a tank you want to see off in the distance. You want to be close quarters so you can work around it and uh, stop letting him shoot you from range. I love my Rheimatal. I love shooting that gun at range. Well, I did before patch 9.6 came out, now it's become a little bit more troublesome. Gets another 320, bang on the money with the averages. ISU 152 appears to be waiting for him to come around that corner, so that's going to be tricky. If he's got a top gun, he could easily wipe out over half his tank's hit points. Separate back there is holding the ridge behind him. 
He has got an ally moving up. I'm not going to mess around with the camera. I'm just going to watch it from uh, Mr. Cole's point of view. Whoa, that T-34 is low on hit points. You know, I like the look of this VK in terms of looks. I love the way the tracks do the sort of banana shape at both ends. I think it's a really fine looking machine. Straight into the back. <laughs> Takes out the T29. So Cabret's got three kills. Mistrical's got two kills. And the enemy team are capping. But the scores are level. They do have slightly more hit points left, the enemy team, but what, 800 more? What's Mr. Cole thinking? He's coming round. Nails the IS-2152. IS-152 and does a good job of it. Yeah, I love the look of this tank. They do good aesthetics. <laughs> Germans, engineers, they make good looking tanks. There's something about it that's just a bit unique. I like its side profile most of all, I think. Its butt could be a bit better. But uh, side profile and front, yeah, it looks awesome. I might even consider unlocking one of these bad boys. So, so far we're looking at... Um, hello, AMX 1375, that's a one shot. Those are the kind of kills you want to get. Surprise a tank from behind, no chance. So we're pushing up again. It's four and three. What's four and three make? Seven plum. I did go to school. Uh, AMX 1375 is on the move. So we're now going down to contest this flag position. T150 looks like he's on this side of the building. Big mistake. Looks like he had an automatic fire extinguisher. Can't quite get that finishing shot off. I think this is one of the first replays I've watched of this particular machine. And I'm quite impressed with its mobility. I imagine it is very similar to the Tiger II, the way it plays. It does look a bit smaller. So that's not a bad thing. So he's just going to go and wipe out this T-150. Should be easy enough. KV-85 is now sweating. <laughs> He's only a tier 6. This is uh, batch 9.4. That's how long ago this was sent to me. And uh, the AMX-1375 and the T-26E4 the Super Pershing are over in the north of the map. So he knows he's probably okay here just to work this guy over. Good stuff. Five kills. Ah, oh, Cipre died at some point, I missed that. So they're not going to get um, the Brothers uh, Medal. Where? Hmm. Two against two. On numbers, move, 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 move that funny looking butt behind that building. <laughs> We're up to a total of three and a half thousand damage done now. He seems to be more concerned about his rear, where that AMX 1375 is. We've got the health pool now. And just take a bounce. Knows where to aim on the Super Pershing. Top hatch. Guarantees the hit. Get out of line of sight of that AMX. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a nuisance. We're taking damage from different directions now. Manages to get a snapshot into the Super Pershing. Does some nice damage. Oh boy, now it's just him against two tanks. And they're both good players on the enemy team. Everything's in it to play for. Is he going to win? Is he going to lose? He's been tracked. He knows where to aim. Only 20 hit points left. But here comes the AMX. The AMX is going to be uh, anxious to end this. Needs to kill that AMX. It's such a nuisance when it gets behind you. Don't let him get behind you. Don't let him get behind you. Ah, he's got to reload. Did the AMX have a full clip when he turned up? 
Super Persian's chasing him now. Now we should better clean out the uh, AMX, and now the uh, Super Persian's only got 20 hit points left. We've got we can take two or three hits from the Super Persian. So as long as we click him in the side, it's a win. Seven kills with his uh, teammate makes ten kills total, and that is a win. So here is his final score sheet, and yeah, it's pretty glorious. Ace tanker, steel wall, defender, high caliber, and top gun. And uh, yeah, you know when you come out of a match and you see that many icons lit up on your battle efficiency that uh, it's been a good day at work. Team scores, yeah, 1661 XP and uh, four medals, seven kills, five and a half thousand damage. They're the games we're all looking for all the time, isn't it? And uh, they come along once a month, it seems. Well, they do for me anyway. Uh, 27 shots fired, 23 direct hits, 21 of those penetrated. Is this tank better than the Tiger II? You don't see as many of them, but it doesn't mean it's not better or worse. I might take a look at the stats next time I open up the game and uh, have a little closer look. I, I mean, it's just because the Tiger II is more famous and it's easier to say. Because <laughs> VK4502 open brackets P close brackets alpha dot A just doesn't have the same zing as uh, Tiger II. Anyway, thanks for sending that in. I'm uh, really grateful to you and I'm very happy to bring it onto the channel. Keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and I will play Tanks again soon. Take care. Bye bye.